What's going on guys? In this video I'm going to give you a rundown of the setup that I've got for um, kind of preparing for hurricanes. If you lose power I wanted a better solution um, that's a little more comfortable if you were to lose power. Um, and what I mean by that is not running extension, uh, extension cords everywhere and kind of having a conditioned space. I have a two-year-old daughter, so I kind of, you know, really need some AC um, if, it, if, if we lose power during uh, some of the hotter days here in Florida. Um, so what I got here is a two-circuit transfer switch. I've got a um, Westinghouse iGen 2500 generator and an LG window unit for my master. Uh, the window unit um, is probably 350 bucks somewhere in there. You can get them a little cheaper, a little more expensive. Um, generator was about 600 bucks. I got that on sale. Uh, I think it was 550 bucks somewhere in there. And this transfer switch is about 100 bucks. So you're looking at a thousand, a little more, a little less. Depends on kind of what you uh, go with um, as far as the window unit and whatever else you want to add to this setup. But overall, uh, I think this is definitely really added a lot of useful uh, features that if I were to lose power, I would still kind of, you know, have a place where I can uh, be comfortable. Um, so I'll go over the setup with the transfer switch first, the most important piece. Um, what we got here is your electrical panel. And I definitely recommend getting an electrician for this if you're not comfortable with uh, electricity or how it works. So I'm gonna take this electrical panel off here. And it's always good practice when you do this to shut the main breaker off, but for this video demonstration, I won't. Um, on your panel, all the breakers should be labeled. That's the first thing you need to do. You need to decide where you're gonna run and hook these circuits up to. So I wanna run my refrigerator in my kitchen, and I wanna run the receptacles in my master bedroom because that's where I have my window unit, and that's the space that I'm gonna keep conditioned when I lose power. So we're gonna remove this. Set this off to the side. And with your transfer switch, it should come with a wiring diagram and it's pretty straightforward. Basically, you're gonna have two circuits, like I said, and they also make a single circuit uh, transfer switch. Um, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay on your ground. There's two, there's actually two sets of wires. Make sure you don't mix and match those. So on one set, you're gonna lay on your ground to the neutral bar. You're gonna land this white wire with the blue stripes to the neutral bar and you're gonna intercept whatever, so say my refrigerator, the neutral and hot coming from that uh, receptacle, you're gonna intercept that here, and that will go to this uh, transfer switch, and then that red wire coming out of the transfer switch will go back to that breaker wherever it was landed. Same thing on the other side, so one leg over here uh, is powering my refrigerator, and the other leg over here is powering uh, the receptacles in my master bedroom where my window unit is plugged in. So how this works is real simple. Right now I have it on main. There's main, off, and generator. So right now it's on main, so it's running power through this and back to you know my refrigerator or whatever else. If I were to lose power, then I would switch this to generator, plug my generator right here, and it would send power through that neutral and hot through those wires to those receptacles in my master bedroom. So nice wiring diagram, uh, very important to read it through and make sure you completely understand it before you decide to tackle this. Um, but having a transfer switch makes it really easy so you're not running extension cords everywhere, um, you know, and just not having, it, it's just always a pain to find all these extension cords to power your refrigerator, power whatever else you want. Um, but having this, it eliminates all that. So you have a uh, space with hot receptacles that you can plug in all your stuff, phones, whatever else you need. Um, and you have a circuit running or you have power running to your refrigerator so you don't have to pull it out, disconnect it. Um, it's power, you know, you send power right there to it, so it, you should be good. I also have a refrigerator in my garage. It's close enough to where my generator is going to be, where I'm just going to run my cord right directly to that generator. So, hard part's done. We're going to look at the generator now. All 
Here's a look at the generator that I'm going to be using in this setup. Westinghouse iGen 2500. It's got 2200 running watts, 2500 peak. Uh, basically, if you're going to do something like uh, what the setup that I've got, just make sure that the load that you're putting on it is going to be, you know, in that range right there. So my window unit and my two refrigerators, uh, this portable generator should be able to handle that, uh, and then some. So this generator definitely uh, chose this because it was uh, highly recommended. Um, the Honda equivalent is twice as much. Um, I, you know, th this was again 600 bucks, so I think a great deal, great bang for your buck. Uh, it tells you your fuel, tells you your load. Uh, it's got a single receptacle right here, so one is going to be powering my. Uh, refrigerator in my garage and this other one will be running to my transfer switch it's even got some USB ports for your phone you know I'm not going to need that because my uh, receptacles in my master bedroom will all be hot so I can just plug my stuff in there uh, but definitely a great generator to have in this setup it's you know for for the price you can't really beat it it's just super quiet it's super efficient on gas it has efficiency mode if you're if you don't have a high load on it um, or if the load is not constant um, then you can put it on efficiency mode and it'll kind of ramp down when you're not needing it and ramp back up when you do call for that load so portable generator uh, this would be my recommendation instead of going with like a honda or something i think it's uh, very well built and performs very well quiet and is strong enough to power what I need it for. So that's that. Um, hopefully this uh, video helped you guys decide uh, if you wanted to go that route and get a transfer switch and a portable generator and maybe install a window unit into your uh, one of your bedrooms in your house. Uh, I definitely think this is uh, the way to go if um, you know, you have a chance of losing power uh, and you want to be a little bit more comfortable, like I said, um, even, you know, hurricane, whatever else, lightning storm, whatever. If you're if you have a chance of losing power, this setup is definitely um, something to consider to uh, definitely make it a little more homey when uh, the power goes out. If you guys got any more questions, let me know. Thanks.